Have you ever wondered who's behind the leading edge sign? In this series of interviews with leading edge real estate agents, we'll uncover exactly who is behind the sign, what makes them so unique, and how they're staying on top of their real estate game while living their best life. Hey everyone, welcome to Behind the Sign. I'm Christine George, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to my friend and leading edge agent, Aldo Mashave. Hey, so, hey, Aldo, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us, Aldo. I want to tell everybody that um, you are an agent in our Melrose office. You're also a husband and a dad, and you're a very beloved agent in our company by all of the agents in our company. You have, Aldo has an amazing sense of humor and an innate ability to make even those who are incredibly miserable crack a smile. Um, And aside from being smart, you're also kind, very authentic, and you're always that person who finds the good in everything and everyone. So Before we get started, I actually want to tell everybody what some of your clients say. Okay. So let's see. Eva says, Aldo was knowledgeable on the area and the market, professional, available, patient, and never pushy. He was a joy to work with, and we have already recommended him to close friends. Don says, Aldo knew how to ask me the right questions. Questions that I didn't even ask, know to ask myself so that I was realistically evaluating each house against my list of needs and wants. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. You know, when you're like a first time home buyer or you're, you haven't sold a home in 40 years, you don't know what questions to ask. No. And so. No. They want you to take the reins and, and, and kind of you, 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 they want guidance. So, you know, basically these questions are a way for them to really sound out their own feelings about a property. So exactly. that's really the, the idea behind it. Yes. And then Ed, Edward says, Aldo walked us through the whole process, made reasonable recommendations and provided a day to day analysis and update throughout the entire process. We, he met with us in person on a call or through text and email several times a day. He is a good man and a great realtor. I love that. It's, oh, it's, like... it's just so nice to hear. Aldo. I want people to be happy, you know, so when they are, it's just. It's, when it's when somebody calls you a good man, I mean, that that's to me that that's deeply meaningful. I mean, that goes beyond being good at your job. Don't you think? I, I, um. I'm just happy that they see that, um, you know, that they feel that way because it, it's not, um, that's not my goal is to be a good, I mean, everyone wants to be a good person, but I mean, like, you know, you just do your job and you hope that they see uh, how hard you're working for them and that you're vested in them as much as they're vested in the process. Yeah. And um, this is sometimes the end result, you know, which is great. Um, you just want people to be happy. You know, we're not, consumer or customer client service industry. So um, when they feel like they've been truly helped, then that makes, you know, it makes my day. It just makes my day. I love reading reviews like that. Yeah. I mean, that speaks to your character and who you are as a, as a human. And so I think, you know, that's a, to me, that says this guy is not about getting a deal done. He's about doing the right thing for me as a client. I mean, well, I mean, that's the ultimate goal. I mean, yes, we do deal in, in business matters. It is about getting deals done, but not, not, that's not the primary goal. The primary goal is to make sure that they're getting exactly what they expect and what they need. Yeah. Um, and you know, part of that is getting to a closing table. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. So we're going to dig in right here. Sure. Um, most agents that I talk to come from a different career. So as did you, so I'm, I'm just going to start out by asking you how, why did you get into real estate? As a matter of fact, I was actually born as a realtor. Um, (laughs) (laughs) No, um, I did come from a different background. I, uh, I was working in it back in the early two thousands. I went to tech school, um, got into it and, and, you know, I was, 
working for uh, Lotus Development Corporation as a subcontractor through another company, um, which is actually where I met my wife. Uh, her oh, that's final right. year of yeah, she was um, she was interning for Lotus Development. That's where we ended up meeting. Anyway, I I was working in IT and um, you know. At that time, in the early 2000s, I don't know if anybody else would remember this, but the, the industry was kind of in this period of upheaval. So I was working as a subcontractor and, and a couple of times I was laid off along with you know other colleagues at that time. We'd get laid off on a Friday, called on a Sunday night saying, hey, report to work. Somebody else bought the contract. You know, you can return. And that didn't seem very... Um, stable to me. Uh, you know, I was, I was a younger kid. I had less in the way of responsibilities, but I was interested in, you know, settling into a great career. I actually ended up going into retail sales as kind of a stopgap for a while, wanted to, you know, find something new, something more permanent. And somebody I had run into had suggested real estate. Um, my father was always somebody who loved real estate. He'd go into open houses every weekend, regardless of you know anything. He would show up to an open house just to see it. And I was like, you know, I kind of like the idea too. He used to take me along with him. Um, and I was like, I think this would be good fit for me because you know it's something that you do as your own boss. I make my own hours. Um, I create my own business, and I'm not going to lay myself off. So you know what? I think it's a good, it's a good uh, fit. Maybe let's give it a try. Uh, so I got licensed in 03. Um, I took a short while away actually um, uh, in 2006 or seven. And then I came back and I ended up coming back to uh, leading edge. Uh, I met Linda O and I I've been with the company ever since. It, it's just wonderful. I love, I love that. And so now you're coming up on almost 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting up oh, there. Yeah. So, and, and it's flown by. It's like, it's just been, it's just been great. I love, love the work. I love the work. And I, yeah. I, and your clients, it's evident by what your clients have to say. So I appreciate yeah. them. And we, we love having you. So, all right. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you in real estate? Now I know you have you definitely see some crazy things because you post them and they're I can't even believe they exist out there. But what's the craziest thing that's ever happened? This is going to be really bizarre and off the wall. Okay. And I'll try and make it a quick uh, anecdote. So um, I, I listed and sold a house in Revere. Uh, this was probably in 2004 or five. Single family house, nothing particularly special about it. Client, came, you know, it was on the market for a few weeks, actually. At that time, things didn't sell in a, in a hot minute. So um, the client purchased the property, closed on it, and I happened to run into them a, a few months after closing. And I asked them how they were doing, how's the house treating them? And they said, um, well, no, it's really great. It's really great. But um, and I'm like, but what? what? What's wrong with the house? And they said, well, <laughs> there's, there's something on the second floor that doesn't like us there. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, we're living on the first floor. And I said, what is it that's happening? He's like, well, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but you know, we just live on the first floor and you know, there's something up there that, that doesn't care for us. And I'm like, a thing or, or what? <laughs> we got it. So we, we had this back and forth and I got the feeling that they had suspected there was some kind of we call it a, uh, what is it called? A stigmatized property. You know, some yeah, yeah, yeah. Stigmatism. So that, when I heard that story, I'm like, I gave him my number and I'm like, call me if there's anything I can do for you. If I can think of anything to help. They, he had a buyer agent. They inspected the home. Like they were in the <sighs> property several times. I had never heard of anything like this happening, to be honest. Um, and it was the craziest story. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I, I don't know what to say. I didn't Are they know what still there? They're still there as far as I know. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? Like, they, I, I yeah. Like they need a little sage. Left field. Yeah. yeah. They, they need some sage to clean the, um, Have it the air or something. I don't <gasps> know, but that is the most incredible thing that I've ever heard happening or experienced. I should see, say. if I were you, I would have wanted to like camp out and see if I actually saw something. So yes, I would <laughs> exactly love to do that. And, and I should have offered to do that, <laughs> but, but no, I, I'm, I, you know, it's, it was an interesting story and I, I felt bad for them, but he seemed fine. He was like, you know what? We're happy there. I'm like, 
okay. That's crazy. Now you know you can't sell the house. No, I know, right? Or, you know, you have to talk about it anyway. Yeah. If that's the case, yeah. But yeah, so that's the craziest thing ever. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So tell me, I I have an opinion about this, but tell me from your perspective, what makes you stand out among other agents? So first off, let me preface it by saying there are so many talented agents out there. Um, and I love a lot, you know, a lot of the agents that I work with. I mean, not just in my company, but like out there, you know, everywhere. Um, I think what makes me stand out maybe is that I like to be available for my people. Um, I tell them to, you know, text or call anytime, no, no matter how late it is in the evening. If I'm available, I'm going to respond. Uh, I say to them that this is the most important transaction you will likely have in your lifetime. Um, and I want to make sure that you understand that I'm here for you. So I, I, I use that phrase a lot. I tell people I'm here for you. And, uh, and I think that's kind of like the standout. I don't, you know, I, I am invested in their time and their process and I want them to feel like, you know, that's what they expect. That's what they're getting, you know? Yeah. 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 So I, 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 I would hundred percent agree with you. I also think that, you know, you just bring such a comforting, um, security to the table. I think like you just, you, you know how to lift people up, you know how to make them feel good about the decision they're making. Um, and you do it with like just a real quiet confidence and a sense of humor. Yeah. Well, I try. And, and actually to touch upon what you just said, I always say to people, you know, I talk a lot, I get them ready. (laughs) I'm like, I talk a lot. And I'm going to say a lot of things, but in the end, when you make your decision, you're going to be confident in that decision. And that's going to make the, you know, the process a lot easier for you. Yeah. As soon as I tell them that they're like, all right, I get that. And, and I like, they all love it. Yeah. So I do get to talk a lot and I'm long winded, but it, the process seems to go smoothly and everyone seems to be happy at the end, which makes me, you know, warms my heart. That's nice. And so yeah. what's the biggest lesson you've learned so far in real estate? Uh, the biggest lesson is to not take anything for granted. Basically, um, we are here to help people realize the dream of home ownership. Um, you have to consider every detail and every possibility for them to make it happen. You know, basically, you know, for us to get from start to finish, um, I can't overlook any details, and I like to be in control of those details, which is fortunate for. I guess both of us, because, you know, it, it helps make everything run a little bit more smoothly. So I think that's it. Nice. And what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? I would say uh, best advice I was ever given is to know that you always need to remember to be grateful um, for the trust that everyone gives you when they, you know, engage your services Um, And also to know that failure is okay. Not saying that we fail, just to say that if things don't go your way on a certain day, you have to be able to get past things in order to move on. And you can't dwell in in the downtimes, let's say. Things will always work out. So I found that those are, that's kind of like the two best things that I can imagine. Yeah. And I think um, you're certainly, uh, buyers out there are certainly needing that kind of advice right now. Oh, That's absolutely. for sure. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, it's kind of a struggle, you know, in a lot of ways. And so uh, when you're there for them and you're going through it together, you know, it, it makes all the difference, I think. Yeah. So what's next for Aldo? 20 years, you're almost 20 years in what's next. Um, so I am still waiting to become an Oscar winning actor <laughs> and uh, you know, and a male model of some kind, but (laughs) until that, until I break into that industry, I am, uh, I'm going to continue in real estate. Uh, just renewed my license again and very excited to be, uh, you know, continuing on. No, there's going to be a lot more of the same for me. What I would like to do, if anything is find, um, if I can streamline the way I do things, my own processes in order to be able to help more people to get where they want to be. Uh, I think that's what I'm looking forward to most, you know, long-term plans. I've got a long way to go. So Great. we'll see for now though. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, just excited to 
get up every morning and do what I do. I love it. So you ready for some rapid fire questions? Shoot. All right. What's your best subject in school? Vocabulary. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, Favorite movie? Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. Classic. Oddly enough, we're going to follow that up with Godfather Part Two. Oh. <laughs> you want one from here and over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, but I, I can explain those things to anybody who wants to know. Just, you know, give me a call. I'll talk that's, about it with you. That's Aldo all wrapped up into one. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, if a movie was made of your life, who would play you? Um, oh, that's a good question. I am going to go with Zac Efron, naturally. Okay. <laughs> That's great. I have no idea who that is. Um, isn't that the kid from uh, what's the High School Musical and what's oh. the other movie about um, Greatest Showman? Yes, The Greatest Showman, of course. Yes. Of course yeah. that's you. That's totally me. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, it's funny, though. I've actually gotten Billy Crystal and I've also gotten, uh, but that was before the goatee. Um, yes you're and which he, i'd be happy i love billy crystal I he's awesome billy but he's crystal. too old for you no he is too old but maybe they could throw some makeup on him and kind of you know make color his hair yeah, yeah something like that yeah that's yeah. a good one that's an interesting question i never thought of that <laughs> i know isn't that a good one who would you most like to meet dead or alive oh dead or alive oh wow um dead or alive. nikola tesla uh, I think that would be really an interesting. Yeah. Um, I think that would be one hell of a conversation. I mean, it would be one sided. I would just be sitting there in awe of, you know, everything he said, but yeah, I think that would be neat. Nice. All yeah. right. What are you most grateful for? Uh, most grateful for my family. Uh, most grateful for uh, the fact that I am able to do what I do for work. Um, I'm grateful for my friends. So you said most grateful for, but I mean, I, I'm grateful for a lot of things. I guess my family is going to be, is going to top that list. Yeah. You kind of have to say that, right? I don't, I actually, I, it naturally just, you know, that's on top of my list. I'm also, uh, I'm grateful for, uh, eggplant parm calzone, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, but yeah, ha- I guess, yeah, you have to say family. It would, it, it would look bad if I just went with the eggplant part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But and this is, swear to God. There. It's on the list. It's oh on the list. Oh my God. All I'm right. I'm grateful I- for you too. And, and, and this oh. opportunity actually. I'm Isn't this fun? This. So I, this is one of the reasons I wanted to get you on this show was just because it's, it's just fun hanging with you. It's just fun talking to you. You make me laugh. And I think everybody who watches this is just going to have a moment of lightness, levity. I, I'm, I'm, I'm even more fun when there's a few drinks in me. Yeah. So, you know, we, <laughs> we should have done this with margaritas. It would have been even better. We actually should just scrap this, we retape it. Yeah, let's start do over it. over again. I love it. All right. Aldo, how can people, where can they find you? What's the best way to get in touch with you? Uh, all right. So you can reach me at aldo at leading uh, You can also call me or text me anytime 24 7 365 wow. at 781 886 And yes, I mean it. You can text or call. Actually, you know what's funny on my Google uh, page when you when you Google Aldo at Leading Edge, it says I'm open 24 7. My family deals with me. They understand. They get it. As long as your family understands and they're supportive, that's all that matters. No, and I take my time too. When I'm with them or if I'm with another client, I'm not touching my phone, but that's I like to be available for people. You know, if they need me, if they need a question answered, I, I love that. They, I love when people call actually. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, well Aldo, thank you. thank you so much. This has been awesome for everybody who's watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So you get notified next time we publish a new episode till next time. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's episode, we'd love it. If you'd like comment and share it, check us out at leadingedgeagents.com and like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. 